right hand side hiding out behind the tree trunk. There's no copy. Now copies are brown. They're wearing zebra pants. And even though they have those fashionable zebra leggings on, they have absolutely nothing to do with a zebra. They are the only living relative of a giraffe. You can kind of tell from their body structure, and they have the same type of tongue. Yet their tongue is so long they're able to lick their own eyeball, so that's pleasant. <laughs> Left hand side, it's really hard to see. The one further back is hard to see. There's one you can actually see its face sticking out. There's greater kudu up there. Greater kudu are the tallest of the antelopes in Africa, 55 inches, shoulder to shoulder. Those ones are females, they don't have any horns. Males grow horns that can be six feet long. And greater kudu, they're able to in an awkward spot. Now black rhinos are a very rare sight these days. There's less than 5,000 of them left in the entire world. Now they have no natural predators. That's actually us. Humans are poaching them for their horns, but they're just made of keratin. The same exact thing as your fingernails and hair, serving no scientific purpose. Now they can get up to about 3,000 pounds and charge at 35 miles per hour ever seen and sadly they are extinct in the wild. They are the heaviest of the antelopes, 500 to 900 pounds. Now they have these long thick horns that lean backwards. That's to get them through that thick brush of vegetation very quickly when there is predators. That's what helps keep them cool so they don't overheat. Staying fully submerged for eight minutes at a time, falling asleep underneath the water and coming up for air every eight minutes without even waking up. They're so accustomed to it. Left hand side, there's a bloat of hippos, which means a group among the largest and most dangerous animals in Africa. 85 pounds at birth, getting up to 5,500 fully grown. Now, of course, they can swim, but they honestly prefer walking and running along the bottom. It's much easier, it uses a lot less energy for those friends. The birds on the island are pink back pelicans. They're going to get that name from the coloration they change during mating season. They have a wingspan of about seven to nine feet. They're very social birds, like to be in pairs anywhere from 20, although they have two 500 of them. So there's a lot of 15 feet, 600 pounds. Their jaws are so powerful, they're able to crush the bones of their own prey. Now they eat one full meal per week, and then that meal they're gonna eat about a third of their entire body weight. Now it does mainly consist of they go a month or so without eating. Now crocodiles live up to about 40 years in the wild. It's actually pretty long for a while later. Some of the animals in the forest, they're only going to live 8 to 10 years. Now the next thing about the crocodiles, the mom and dads, they're going to take their inside with the huge horns. These are called Ancoli cattle. Now Ancoli cattle are the only domesticated animals on the reserve. Their nickname is Watusi after the people who first domesticated them. Now those horns are fairly large, they're about 3 to 4 feet long. Now you think they'd be really heavy and really cumbersome, but they're not. Inside their horns are blood vessels. They're in a honeycomb shape pattern and they actually act as their own personal air conditioning. So they're pretty much hollow on the inside. <laughs> African wild dogs are easily mistaken for hyenas. Very different than hyenas and very different than your domesticated dog. They only have four toes, they chirp. They actually sound more like a bird than they do a dog. Cola cattle is pretty close Wait, to you on the right hand side. Charge! That's a good picture. I, have my, uh, why you I like the right horns now? that go like in a big why? circle. Uh -huh. I don't know why. <laughs> Looks like they got their hands up. <laughs> I love those ones. I see giraffes. I see white braided wildebeest. I see springbok. We're going to start with springbok because they're my favorite animals in the entire reserve. The tiny little ones all the way up there. Springbok get their name because they're able to spring into the air six feet from a standing position and 13 feet if they're on the move. They're only three feet tall. They're among the top 10 fastest land animals getting 50 to 60 miles per hour. So it's three foot springbok at the same speed a cheetah does. They're my favorite animals because they're short and underappreciated and I can identify with them. Wildebeest, white bearded wildebeest, second largest herding animal, second to humans. Participating in very large migrations. 1.5 million of them will migrate over a thousand miles each year. Even in your own backyard, you may not even notice them. We're going to do a quick stop for this giraffe on the right for my friends on the right. And then the rest of the giraffes look like they're going to be on the left hand side. Now of course giraffes are the tallest animal in the world, getting up to 20 feet tall. They can be as tall as a crocodile can be long, so that's slightly terrifying. Newborn giraffes can stand at 6 feet tall. So newborn giraffes stand taller than they'll ever be in my entire lifetime, but it's fine. And they only sleep 30 minutes a day. They tend to do so in five minute naps and sleeping standing up to help avoid predation. 
They look very docile, most of the time they are, but they do have a very powerful kick. So powerful that lions rarely ever attack a giraffe. They're too afraid of getting hurt. Now they can also reach speeds of about 30 miles per hour. Now first on the left hand side, because they're really shy, there's mandrels over there, and that's actually the male who's like the most shy of them all. Mandrels are the largest monkeys in the world, getting up to 100 pounds. Looks like the mom and the babies are gonna be poking out from these trees. You're gonna start to see them walk back there. Now they are what Rafiki's modeled after. They have that bright blue and red on their face. As they get excited, it gets brighter. It's like when you blush. Now, of course, the male is going to have the brighter of that facial markings. And of course, they have those markings on their behinds as well. He's got a rainbow butt. <laughs> Let's see if we can get closer up to the elephant. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I saw it. I know I saw it on the right. Oh, hi friend. You're right here. Oh. And this African elephant's gonna be a male. Oh my the only God. reason I know he's a male, he's all alone. African oh. elephants, the males like to stay yeah. off by themselves. They like to stay in little bachelor pads on, if they're cool like that. Yeah. All the moms, all the babies, they hang out together, take care of each other. So it looks like my road's closed probably because there's an elephant right there. So I guess we'll go this way. I'm hoping it takes us into elephant country. We're gonna see if we can go find those moms and all the babies. We're halfway there. Deep breaths. It's okay. Okay. So close. So close. <laughs> oh, back tires. Back tires. You guys good? Oh, back tires. Okay. Woo. Oh, it's really about you there. All right. Looks like we're entering some red clay pits. Now, red clay pits are very beneficial to elephants. Got a lot of minerals in them. You may see their tough marks, their footprints. They're gonna. She's like 820 pounds. She's so little. She's almost a year old compared to all of them. She's so tiny. She's almost a year. She's super cute. She doesn't really know how to use her trunk still and she's really clumsy. She falls over a lot. She just, she just doesn't know what she's doing and it's okay. She's a baby elephant. She's learning. Her sister really likes to take care of her. Her sister's never too far behind from her. Don't run away. My friends came to see you. Where are you going? Oh, because you're going to get your sister. That's her sister. Aww. It's alright. We'll go in a big circle. We'll find you. Oh, yeah. African elephants. Aww. You can usually tell they're African elephants through the shape of their ears. They tend to resemble the shape of Africa. Now they flap their ears around a lot. That's actually to cool themselves off. If they flap their ears around enough, they can cool themselves off 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Look, she's going to fall. See? She was about to fall right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very clumsy. Super adorable. Now, of course, they're being poached for their ivory tusks, but they're also losing their homes. They're losing their homes because people are mining for coltan. Coltan is just something you find in each and every single small electronic device. We know how humans are with those. I am guilty. So, sadly, elephants are losing their lives and their homes because of humans, which is not cool. What? Okay, looks like there's greater flingos up here. Now, even though these are called greater flingos, these are the least color pink of all flamingo species. Getting that coloration from the brine shrimp and any other crustaceans they eat that contain keratin in them. Now a group of them is called a flamboyance. When they're first born, they're actually gray in coloration. If you look in there right now, they have some like grayish white ones in there. Now it's going to take them about two full years of eating all that brine shrimp until they get to that classic pink coloration. So they have a lot of eating to do. We're gonna leave the west savannah where it's really open animals are migrating across that area like our black rattle friend being poached for their horns but they get up to about 5,000 pounds whereas black rhinos will they only get up to that 3,000 pounds full charging at that 35 miles per hour now the african name for a white rhino is vite and you think it would mean white but it means wide that's due to their wide broad mouth that is actually going to be the main difference between a white and a black rhino and for speed though, not for power, they can only go 60 miles per hour, a few short hundred yards, making them easily chased off by lions and hyenas. Now they use they like do this because they come out of nowhere. There's some ostriches on your left hand side. Now ostriches are the largest bird. They have those wings, but they cannot fly. They are way too big. They'd fall right over. So they're so cute. Look at their little, little hairs and their little, little tiny tusks. Where hogs are related to domesticated pig, they are the largest burrowing animal. Either using their own or using someone else's does not matter as long as they have a burrow. Very territorial, so they back in with their tusks facing out for defense, reaching speeds of about 35 miles per hour. 
Those little tiny ones up there? You gotta... Want a book? Hi. Oh, okay. You want to come on a safari? Here he comes. He's coming in, bro. You want to come on a safari? No? All right. Bon to about the only place you can see in reserves like this protected land. They are extinct in the wild. Those large yellow eggs underneath the tree are ostrich eggs. Now, Bon to at one point, there were less than 20. Two, zero of them left in the entire world. Now, they started to realize that those numbers were declining, so they did help them out. They are in healthy numbers, but they are still extinct in the wild. They've got a wingspan of about five feet. They're very unsocial birds, like to be in very, very small pairs of about two to ten. Whereas those pelicans like to be all the way up to 500. So for some reason, yellow yellowbill start. They don't really like to have friends. 30 every day. And there's also a bill of all expiration trip. A nice easy walking trail that can take the whole family. You take your with you on the right hand side of the exit. You see gorillas, monkeys, zebras, zookopies, hippopotamus, fish, birds, snakes, turtles, naked mole rats, meerkats, lots of fun things. That's going to close at 4.45 every day. Now friends, when I say goodbye, that's rude, that is harsh, you are all my new friends. So instead we say kwaharini. Kwaharini means to go well. So go well friends, go wild. Don't go too wild, it is still a family friendly jungle out there. Again, my name is Winnie, it was a pleasure being your safari guide today. Any wilderness explorers, you've been riding the Simba one today.